here we are we've got a raspberry pi which we assembled before we've got a piece of test track we've got our, uh, our cable which has got a couple of uh, banana plugs on the end we can plug straight into our test track then the other end plugs straight back into our raspberry pi dcc system i have a uh, connector here for the 12 volts required for the sprog board and I have the 5 volts here required for the uh, Raz Pi. Now the fan started up as you can see the lights are flashing on the front so our Raz Pi is now booting up and that's all there is to connect one up. Three simple connections. So now we're going to connect our mobile device to the Raspberry Pi so we can use the engine driver application. So we switch on our mobile device. The first thing we'll need to do is go to the settings. Now as you can see here, the uh, Sprog Pi will actually come up as Sprog-Pi 3. So you tap that. It will then ask you for uh, the password and username which is in the documentation supplied with your Raspberry Pi and now it's connected. Once it's connected we go over to engine driver and when we start engine driver you should have my JMRI railroad there. Hitting the JMRI railroad should bring you straight into the program. The loco we're going to run over there on the test track later is 413 so go to address and put in 413 and acquire and now we have loco 413 connected to that uh, that system and now we can start running our trains so we'll see more of that in the next section So now we've got the mobile device connected to the Raz Pi, we can run a train. We've got a high quality Victorian Railways T class here, so we'll plonk that on the track. And if you can hear, it's actually started up, it means it's got sound. So we'll select which logo we're going to have, we're going to have 413 is its number. There it is there. You blow the horn, turn the lights on. If I change direction, you'll see the headlight will come on. Make it move. So this is all running from the mobile device into the Raspberry Pi, into the train. Stop, reverse. and off it goes. So there you go. We've got a train running on our Raspberry Pi Sprog DCC and a mobile phone of some description. So in the next video I'll show you how to connect remotely into the Raspberry Pi and change the identification numbers. So if you're running it at a show where someone else has got one you don't have the same identification, uh, username and password. Anyhow, catch you later.